February 10th. I'm going to wire these frames. I think I showed something recently about it, you know, building them and whatever, and why those holes are there. So I'm going to wire those real quick. I've done this in the past. Um, I have those that I need to wire. I got all the frames built. And then I have all those and those. I still got to put wax foundation in. And I got a, quite a few in the house. Uh, total about 30 I got to put wax foundation in, which is that piece right there. So I'm just going to cover that real quick the wire and putting that in. I'm only doing one of those wax ones today because it's not warm enough for me. But I'll kill two birds with one stone on this video, I hope. Anyway, here it goes. Oh, and this ain't saying it's work. It's what I do, and I'm that, and that's all there is to it. Beekeepers have to do this. There's no way of getting around it. There's some other strategies on how to do it, but you have to do it. So I'm anyway, putting a nail on this side to hold the wire. Another nail to start over here. This is my own little get up. You gotta make your own stuff when you start doing this. And then I got the wire left here. You know, it's called ingenuity or whatever, whatever makes it easiest and the fastest at times. So anyway, the wire is going through those holes. with my nice little handy needle nose that I keep handy of course that's why it's called a handy needle nose wrap around the first nail another handy tool channel locks squeeze that one down it. and then to uh, pull them tight what this wire is for is in the summer months wax is hot or work relatively warm and it makes flaps out, you know inside the hive so this gives it extra support and why in the foundation in the wax foundation there's wires as well it's all just for strength to keep it uh, all positions and not well cut but anyway here's this piece of wax and I'm going to like this so it sits up there and in, inside my nice little hole and then I can set this in something I didn't do and I'm going to have to do this real quick uh, is uh, Turn my compressor on because I wasn't going to do this. It's just sad because now I'm going to do a lot of things here which I wasn't planning on. That's all set. I'll do it with my 5 8s. Rad nails. Hook that up. Wax all set where it needs to be. I'll turn it over, get the holder on here. Okay, the wax is all in place, and now I'll take this tool. And then back those wires in there by turning this upside down. Back into this jig thing here. And roll it over. And what it does, it pushes the wire into the wax. And the bees will build their comb around it. And it's up just like your house, you know. And everything holds itself together. There's one frame completely done. And now, I only have all these to do, which get ten of them in each one. All those. 
and there are quite a few inside so anyway I got only 175 of those wax foundations but all these need to be wired so that's what I'm doing today I'm just I'm just gonna be wiring it's not warm enough for me to actually be doing the wax foundation I want it to be a little warmer um, one other thing this isn't work this is just something that has to be done when you're a beekeeper you know it has to be done there's other strategies and methods to do it but it still comes out the same you have to do you have to do this kind of thing you know uh, very hard to get everything just shipped all made and stuff just to let you know adios